Hello. Well, I have two sisters, but no brothers. So along the way, I adopted a couple of brothers, especially Billy. Billy is known to most of my readers as Twig, because his real name is William Twig Crawford. And today I'd like to tell you about a fishing expedition that he and I took. We were about nine, and it was off the rocks in front of his house at Point of Woods, where we both grew up spending the summers. We had a dinghy, masks and snorkels, and a spear gun. And we were going to go spearing blackfish. It was my turn to be underwater. And I wasn't really all that good with the spearing part, so I was going to just locate the blackfish, and then he would dive in and go for the kill. So I was underwater, and... So I was underwater, and all of a sudden I heard this smashing on the, on the waves above my head. And I came up, and Billy was reaching out his hands to me, yelling to swim to the boat, swim to the boat. And I just like trusted him. So I took off swimming, and he grabbed me by the arm and like pulled me in. And as I did, as it, this happened, I realized that the boat is moving away from where I'd been diving. And as I looked up ahead, he had speared the back of a shark. And his spear gun was just behind the dorsal fin of a shark that was making its way fast away from Point of Woods into the open ocean. So like all good spear fishermen, he had a, he had a knife and he sliced the, the rope and the shark went down and disappeared. Fast forward many, many years and I was out on another person's boat and we were fishing for stripers but the person I was fishing with hooked something really big, probably bigger than a striper, but we weren't sure. And we get right to the point where you can see the fish shimmering below the waves and you could see the dorsal fin. And he got it closer and it's 14 feet long with a shark and just behind its dorsal fin was a rusting old spear. So twice in my lifetime that shark played a role in my in my summer 